I'm Peter Pasteur, today's host for Make Music Day. It's a free event worldwide held each June 21st. It's the virtual celebration this year because of COVID-19, but that doesn't mean the participation or the enthusiasm is any less. This year, KDRT 95.7 in Davis, California is producing a special broadcast the Make Music Davis Song Showcase, where over 20 local musicians of all ages and genres have contributed videos and will join us briefly on the air to share their songs and celebrate our community of music lovers. Additionally, from 11.30 to 1 and from 7.30 to 9 on, on Sunday today, KDRT will be airing uh, special live concert recordings from Odd Fellows Music Hall in Davis, featuring some of the area's most beloved bands. Throughout the day, on you can look it up on fa on uh, the internet under Make Music Davis Facebook page. We will also feature a special lesson videos created by local instructors and additional videos sent in by the community. We will also be sharing links to the global online celebration via makemusicday.org. We are very grateful to all the musicians and the City of Davis Arts and Cultural Affairs Program for the grant to Davis Media Access and KDRT to host and organize this event. Each performance will be approximately three minutes or less, so some performances will have to be cut a little short, but not to worry through most of the performances will be available on YouTube in their, entirely, in their entirety. This broadcast is being aired and streamed live. So if you're listening to the radio, you're listening to KDRT 95.7 in Davis, California. Our logo is where the grassroots grow. But today we threw that logo out the window. Today it's we are watering and harvesting a field of musical notes. Before we start all these videos you are about to see, they are incredible. Some are recorded in the past and some have just been recorded for this event. Several of them, with their lyrics, focus on what's going on in our world today. So thank you for allowing us to be part of your day. So now sit back and let's begin. And by begin, I mean our first guest is Rita Hosking. Rita is an American composer and musician based in Davis, California. She plays Americana and bluegrass styles of music, both standards and original songs. Since the release of Are You Ready in 2005, she has performed around the country and the UK at concerts, festivals, and other venues. Just to quote The Telegraph, Northern California's own Rita Hosking sings of forest fires, culture clash, Demolition Derbies, The Working Class, and Hope. Rita's video of her song, If You Come Back Again, was recorded at her home in honor of this show and Make Music Day. It is the first song on her most recent album, For Real. It is one of her favorite new songs to sing and is dedicated to the people in our lives that we are missing. And aren't we missing a lot of those? Listen closely to the poetic lyrics that paint many unique pictures. Rita, take it away. Bucket drums and violins, dancing bombs with drunken grins, bonfire and a big amen if you come back again. Whole pot of venison stew, Uncle Bob in his pink tutu. Play kazoo with deja vu if you come back again. Banjo on the radio, hang brass on the open door. We parade down skid row if you come back again. Dogs wag and donkeys. Sardine buffet, 75 degrees all day. If you come back, if you come. 
musicians write pretty songs and dawn. Shells and British pounds, bells and crying basset hounds. Buy us all another round if you come back again. Red paint, cardinal sin, get it out of my old box skin. Singing like the battle wind if you come back again. If you come back again. Salmon start to spawn And midnight musicians Write pretty songs at dawn And fireflies begin To light up a pavilion Made up be your good friends If you come back Again That was wonderful. Up next is Jessica, Jessica Malone. Uh, the one thing that impresses me about Jessica is not only her vocals and her, her writing, but also the incredible musicians you put around yourself. Jessica, welcome to the show. Thanks. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Great. Uh, listen, you, uh, you, you've put together a song for this event or, or picked one for this event. Uh, what song is it? Um, this is a song that uh, it's called Wake Up With The Sun. And this performance of this song is at Crazy Horse in Nevada City, where my band and I recorded part of our live album. Okay. And so this video goes along with the first track of that live album. Very good. Yeah. Well, uh, what's the name of the song again? called Wake Up With The Sun. Perfect, let's play it. Thank you, Jessica. Called Wake Up With The Sun.
Welcome, Richard. How are you? Just fine. Good, good. Uh, uh, good to see you. Uh, we're going to keep right on moving here. I know that uh, according to Bazooka, which is the band you, uh, you belong to, uh, is an Americana pop band with a vintage vibe. What song are you going to be playing with uh, for us today? We're doing uh, All in Your Head. All in Your Head. Okay. And when was this recorded? Uh, I don't think it's been recorded yet. No, it's on the next album. No, I, I meant the video. Oh, uh, a couple months ago. Yeah, a couple of months ago. Okay, so it's fairly new. Well, thank you for joining us and let's roll it. Let's enjoy it. Let her rip. trying to follow you is there somebody under the bed is it all just too much to know what to do could it be that it's all in your head do you think someone's trying to follow you wait i think that's already been said do you need an alternative point of view i think maybe it's all in your head i think maybe it's all in your head if i close my you thinking that rumor just might be true? Could it be that it's all in your head? Is there some way to finally find a clue in a book that nobody has read? Your suspicions are true, it all points to you. I think maybe it's all in your head. Maybe it's all in your head. According to Bazooka. Up next is Gary Lee Yoder. And if uh, you want to know anything about the psychedelic rock era in the 60s in San Francisco, Gary, I think you're the guy that we should talk to because you lived it, correct? Ah, we're not hearing Gary. So Gary, uh, who he has played in several bands, uh, throughout his career, uh, many out of San Francisco, including CAC, uh, Oxford Circle, Blue Cheer, but he's lived in Davis for years uh, to, uh, to all of our benefit. So unfortunately, we don't have a mic for, for Gary, but let's play what he presented to us. 
block. I got keys that I smoke and keys that I play. I can't find the key to your heart. I got keys and keys and keys and keys. Got me church key too. But what good do all those keys do me? Oh, baby, without you, yeah. Baby, without you, you keep your heart locked up so tight. You just won't let me in. No matter how hard I try, it seems I just can't win. But I'm gonna find the combination. Yeah. Baby Without You. Those are some great uh, lines from the rock era. Bart, welcome. Bart van der Zee is with us right now. How are you? Great, Peter. Good, good. You. Welcome. Uh, you're representing Bomba Fried Rice, correct? Yes. Okay. And I hear a little bit of an accent in your voice. Tell us, how many nationalities are represented in this band? Oh, it's, you know, it's an international band, international collective. I think right. that there are probably six or seven different nationalities. Wow. And uh, you play, I believe it's the drums. Is that correct in this song that we're going to be hearing? Yes. Okay. Well, listen, we're going to keep right on trucking. Bart, thank you for joining us. Uh, and we're going to listen to Bomber Fried Rice singing. What song, Bart? It's a song called Politica. Politica. Thanks, Bart. Take care. Talking to the radio people. Ningún me vio que nace un muerto, canta Rodríguez, que antes te llama adentro y dale con el desinterés y el desinterés es complicada, eh. Muchas vidas negras se balancean sobre tu tela araña. Corean los infantes, da un paso redoblado que engaña. Pesas como el espanto y sos terca, como el burro de un labriego, como yo, como el mundo entero. Que te van a risa y no le están lector en la cara de muchos parientes. Te quedan oscuras de un luto urgente. Y si te presto atención. Cuando las chile 
Morena canta, no hay que tener decoro Que donde el tímpano tendrá el escoido de oro Cuando la sirena canta, no hay que tener decoro Que donde el tímpano tendrá los oídos de oro Muchos peores que no vienen al caso, pero paso a paso se te adelanta la vida, la de las calles y las vías. Soy culpable de no atenderte lo suficiente, no dejarte ser tan sucia, tan empolvada. Tranquila, dorada, que vamos a ser como Doña María, la que lava la casa de tus pibes. Good Lord, that band. Uh, I think the only thing they were missing is a tuba. They, they had the whole fireworks for us there. Welcome, welcome, Bill Scholler. How are you doing? Good. Can you hear me? Oh, absolutely. We can hear you. Uh, yeah. We want to welcome you and tell us a little bit about uh, what you picked for us today. Well, this is a song that I uh, wrote uh, to back up a poem by Kenneth Patch, and I've always been a fan of, of Kenneth Patch as a poet. Uh -huh. And so I had a band back in Davis called Waiting for Bruce. So I wrote this song for that group. Uh, you'll see there's an intricate bass part in it, and that was written specifically for Jeff Simmons because he seemed bored during the rehearsal. So I wrote something like a bebop line to keep his attention. So that's where that came from. Very good. But I, I understand that you, you, the, it, the uh, video itself was put together uh, with people scattered around. Yeah, I just finished it, what, this morning or yesterday morning? Wow. Yeah, yeah, I had Jan up there in Washington, uh, Jun Masaoka and Mayumu Hidaka from the Tokyo area, Yokosuka in Tokyo and Japan. Um, Cynthia Hall Evans, singer, she from Hayama, Japan, Steve O'Neill from Winters, Cal uh, Dixon, California. Okay, very good. And the name of the song is? The Little Man with Wooden Hair. Wow, okay, thank you. Let's roll it. <laughs> disagreeable cat with a crew cut who would annoy everybody on the bus to such a degree he was guaranteed a quick trim without having to pay for the broken window A little man two inches shorter than himself who was always getting stuck in the sidewalk and when the curious townsmen came to yank his arm and crush his hat he'd spit in the eye of the lean and lift the wallets off the fat
How wonderful isn't that video? Wow. I bet you that took I a like. while to put together. Even the even the painting something. Roger, welcome. I like Roger that. Roger Kunkel. No. Hello. How are you today? I'm I'm fine. Thank you. Good, Have good. Nice day here. And yeah, you're sitting in your backyard. Uh, Roger is well known around town for his guitar playing. Uh, he recently put out a brand new CD, I would guess, what, six, eight months ago? Well, I put one out about this time last year. Okay. But it turns out I have a brand new one now as of, oh. uh, as of Wednesday. So you can okay. look me up on uh, Bandcamp. There you go. The new and album we'll called Leaks. Leaks. Okay. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep on rolling here. So tell me, Roger, which song did you pick? This is a song called All the Minutes. Okay. And it is a solo guitar piece. Okay. Uh, it's also on the new record. Okay. And just recorded and, it a couple of days ago. And where did you, uh, oh, you just recorded it in uh, at your house or? This, vi this video, yes. Okay, very good. Yeah. Well, uh, let's listen to Roger Conkle and thanks for joining us, Roger. All right, my pleasure. Take care, bye now. Bye. That was gorgeous. Oh, I'd like to welcome Kat. And Kat, help me if I'm pronouncing your name uh, correctly. Kat Grooves, is it? Yes, Kat Grooves, not Kat Grooves. Kat Grooves. Okay, Kat Grooves. Yeah. Very good. Well, yeah. welcome. Uh, I understand you're the latest up and coming musician star in Sacramento. Is that right? I mean, there's a lot of us out there that do that specific style of music. And that's so awesome that people like Roger are making gorgeous music just like that. It's so awesome that people within the Davis and Sacramento community are dabbling in solo finger style guitar. And I didn't even realize how many right. solo finger style guitar artists that we have around the area. So that was great. So you've got some competition. <laughs> have a new friend <laughs> you have a new friend and i understand for make music day here in davis you're also teaching uh, how to use the guitar as another instrument tell us about that yeah so with the acoustic guitar a lot of people would just think oh you just strum and play chords but actually right. with the acoustic guitar you have the guitar body which can be used as a percussive instrument so okay. movies like august rush for example portray that artists like khaki king michael hedges Andy McKee and the like, they all use, you know, that one instrument, the acoustic guitar, 
to convey the sounds of a full band. So that's okay. really awesome. Uh, before we play your song, tell me uh, any musical uh, upbringing in your background, schooling, uh, parents, H how did you acquire what you're doing? So my dad actually taught me how to play guitar. He taught me just like the basic chords, but then I learned this percussive finger style technique around high school. And I started covering people on this YouTube channel called Candy Rat Records, a bunch of people who are doing this unique style of playing. And then in college, when I started going to college in 2014, that's when I felt like I found my voice and I was able to write in that style. So no formal schooling at all, just pretty much self-taught. For the most part. Well, Kat, uh, I want to thank you for finding us. I want to thank you for sharing your talent. And what song, uh, what's the name of the song you're going to play? The name of the song is called Terminus Road, and it's my latest composition. Very good. Let's listen to it. Thank you. Thank you. Just to think, while she was strumming that, she was thinking about how to what to make for dinner that night. Incredible. Okay, our next guest is uh, Didar Singh Khalsa, who cannot be with us tonight, but he sent in his recording. Uh, Didar uh, grew up in the area being an organic farmer, but while he was farming, he always had his guitar and he was always playing music. But then when he retired, he also started writing music. Didar uh, is sent in a song called Raised Above the Parapet. Now, now this is what is incredible about musicians. He said this song came to him, and in 15 minutes, he wrote it, just the lyrics, and in the next 30 minutes, he wrote the music, and he said that's how usually the good songs appear. The ones he struggles with are tough. So let's listen to Raised Above This Parapet by Didar. Thank you. 
Didar and I forgot to mention that playing with Didar is uh, was Jane Thompson and Kevin Wilkerson, who uh, accompany him on a lot of events that he goes to. Next up, Josh Wisterman, who Joshua Wisterman, who couldn't be with us today, but he submitted a video. Josh is one of these guys that uh, his brain was wired for jazz. Uh, when I see him reading a book, it's just a book of notes. Uh, one time I saw him in this place where maybe three of us were sitting listening to a jazz band and he was just had his eyes closed and just beating his heart. Uh, he, he's just thoroughly engrossed in the jazz scene, but lately, lately, he started developing his voice. And as a young person, it's coming along rather nicely. Think Stan gets. So Josh Wisterman is going to be singing Turn Out the Light. So Josh, take it away. Turn out the lights, leave my soul to burn Eyes can rest, I tried my best Look at you with my fate in your hands Help me back, I want to stay If I'm just waiting for the time to pass How long can the suffering last? Starving too with my mouth to the sky Dying but just before dawn Don't think so, you see. 
say you just don't know Great tune by Josh. Welcome, Steve. Hi there. Steve Katerik is on the line with us. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you, Peter? I'm doing excellent. Excellent. And thank you so much for submitting a song at the last moment. Hey, thanks for having me. I have to uh, apologize. My Apparently, you've been sending me emails for years, and I haven't been responding, <laughs> but uh, I swear my, uh, my app for Gmail was, was out which I, I had exclusively just for music, but uh, it was my bad. Okay, so. no problem. Hey, listen, uh, you wrote a song specifically, not only for the show, but for the times we live in. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a song called Presence of the Past. And um, I just tried to encapsulate everything heavy that's going on from a global pandemic to systemic racism to police brutality and stuff that's just been weighing heavy on me as uh, along with, you know, most, most people in this country. So uh, it was more of a cathartic type uh, type of song uh, just to get out and, and uh, put some words on paper and um, yeah, I wrote it on Monday and submitted to you on what yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. And you of all people will know you work in the medical industry. And so I'm sure that uh, you see things that uh, certainly uh, we're glad we don't at this point. So thank you for your service for doing that. Sure. All righty. And the name of the song is? It's called Presence of the Past. Let's play it. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.
Well, uh, the emotion in that song really, really got to me at uh, the words, the emotion. Uh, it, it's, it's just one hell of a performance. Uh, doesn't get much better. Thank you, Steve. Uh, next up is Neil, Neil Ism. Neil isn't available to be with us today. Uh, he is originally from uh, Ireland. Uh, he lives in the Sacramento area now for the last couple of years. And uh, we're going to get right to his video. It, and it's perfect after this because it's uh, after what, what uh, Steve just sang. It, it's an instrumental on the piano, very almost melancholy. So let's listen to Neil Ism play uh, an untitled piece that he just drummed up one day. And let's go for it. Incredibly beautiful. What uh, just listening to the keys is a nice change. Thank you, Neil. Okay, up next is Karen. And again, Karen uh, is tied up today, but uh, she submitted a song. And Karen is a, a songwriter that uh, is really not that well known to me, but uh, was introduced to me about uh, four or six weeks ago. And I started following her on, on YouTube. And then after the incident in Minneapolis, she put this song together and it just blew me away. And I said, we've got to hear it. So, Karen, let's listen to uh, the name of the song is I'm going to have to look it up real quick. Uh, untitled. No, it's not untitled. It's uh, I Stand With You. Blessings of liberty I can't breathe Ensure domestic tranquility I can't breathe Let freedom ring I can't breathe In the land of the free Shining sea I can't breathe 
When my sun raises hood to head It's not a choice between life and death And yes, there are laws he breaks But for your son, it's his life they'll take Just for walking, for playing, for working, for speaking For driving, for standing, for running, for sleeping It's your child's life they'll take Pretend to know your pain Your shoes are not the ones I walk in But none are free until all are free So I stand with you When we take a knee I stand with you When we take a knee Sure, domestic tranquility. I can't breathe. Let freedom ring. I can't breathe. In the land of the free. Wow. Uh, Karen, welcome. And sorry about the mix-up. I didn't see you in the house. And there you are, sitting this whole time being very patient. No worries. Thank you for putting okay. this on. It was very nice. Thank you. Uh, it's a beautiful song. It certainly reflects our times. Whose idea was that to play the news in the background on the TV? That was mine. Yeah. Uh, very, very nice touch. Uh, how did this song come to you? You know, it came to me watching the footage primarily of the George Floyd incident, but then on top of all of the other incidents, and I just, it came to my mind, let freedom ring. Yes. And hypocrisy in that, um, that line. And then in all of the lines that we've grown up listening to with, uh, with music and with our anthems and whatnot, and there's a large pop portion of our population or a very significant and important portion that is not represented in those songs. And right, that right. So that's where it came from. Very good. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, the song really reflected what many, many of us feel. Thank you again. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye now. Up next, we have Meisner and Smith, and they could not be with us today. They come from Davis, California. Uh, Meisner and Smith has very strong, uh, soaring vocal performances and extremely tight-knit instrumental arrangements, and they are much loved in, in this whole part of the country. Uh, the choice of their song is, uh, the song is about trying to find hope in times when it feels like the only thing within reach is darkness. Boy, isn't that the truth? We may feel like we're falling, but we can help each other and reach out. And even though our pain and confusion and worry, hope can be contagious too. So, uh, I think it's a very appropriate intro. And so let's listen to Meisner and Smith sing The Upside.
life's just a riddle Answers no lies I know it feels like drowning The questions and fear Just now the pressure mounting Will soon disappear Maybe we're Meisner and Smith, great duo, great duo. Well, up next is a rock group, a four-piece rock group, Bad Mother Nature. And uh, Bad Mother Nature, uh, I've had you guys in the studio, so now I have to really think about who I'm talking with, but I think it's Alex. Uh, my name is John. I'm, uh, I'm John, the okay, sorry, John. Yep, oh, you're no the worries. drummer dude. Okay, welcome. Uh, you've got a song coming uh, that, that, that you're going to be playing that was, I think, professionally produced, correct? The uh, video. Yes. yes. We, okay. uh, we have, uh, actually, the convenient thing is uh, two of our guys in our band have uh, film degrees. So we have our friend out from uh, Tahoe, uh, his name's Hayden, who comes out with his camera, uh, gives us all the raw footage, and then uh, uh, Corey and Axel go to work. And, uh, Perfect. So, wow. Wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. So the song is called Folly Man. Uh, I always thought a folly guy in the movies anyway was the guy who sort of did the uh, or gal did the uh, sound effects. Is that correct? Um, that, you know, I'm, I'm not very well. You're not the guy. That okay. Right. But but what is Folly Man about then? Well, uh, honestly, it's uh, the the whole song is uh, just kind of about a guy's journey and uh he's you know honestly he's just kind of seeing things for uh for kind of what they are um he's he's kind of tired of all this glitz and this glam and he's he's seeing all this these things kind of uh fall to the wayside and it's a very very uh you know uh just a, a very uh I, I really enjoy the song. I really do. Perfect. Okay. Well, uh, it, it's a great video. Uh, you're one of the bands that is awesome. I mean, truly awesome to see live. We miss you guys. So hopefully this will all be behind us soon so we can hear a song like Folly Man live on stage. Let's roll it. Thank you, yeah, John. Sir. Wasting away. I got a mind up, go fix it instead of following me and pray. And there's a folder of old pictures that the government took. It's got a stamp says, no peeking, open with the following me. Well, hang my head. They say getting better, get it better for us. We welcome everyone, gonna buy a ticket to heaven. So the fighting man comes. There's a cold wind been blowing, but it ain't cold if you're rich. They say a warm wind ain't much better, but with the fighting man wish. Oh, hey, my head.
smooth talker. But when it makes them all weak, and when they tell him he should try to just listen, hold the filing man speaks. If he's an old man and doors missing, they won't look for him much. He had a lifetime sitting deep present, and now the filing man's lost. Folly Man, Bad Mother Nature. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, I, uh, I guess I wasn't really coming of age, but a little later I grew up with MTV, and that's sort of what MTV was all about. Okay, coming up next, Christopher Cassells. Uh, this is going to be a very short video. Uh, Christopher and Rusi Gustafsson, who, who is uh, both out of Davis here, uh, were asked by beer company in Canada, of all places, to put some music to a short commercial. They did, and they chose to play that here today. So let's listen to a 30-second beer commercial for a Canadian oh, beer dude. company. Well, now we know what 30 seconds is like. Uh, when uh, Chris said he put this together, he was envisioning an entire rock anthem in 30 seconds. So that's what we have. Next up, Nancy Northrup, another person who is well known around here, uh, been to Nashville several times to record, has many CDs out, and uh, she has put together a song that is called What If? And it, it speaks to our current moment in time. And this is not, as you know, not the first artist that is doing this. Uh, it speaks to the simple concept of what if we choose light over dark, love over hate, peace over war. Even during these difficult times, we must not forget that each day, each moment, we can choose how we are going to react to the challenges in our lives. We have the power to create a better world. So Nancy, sing it away. What if? Thank you. Uh, this next song I'm going to sing is called What If? And uh, it's just about choosing light over dark, love over hate, uh, peace over war.
Thank you, Nancy. And obviously, Nancy is not going to be playing at Steady Eddie's tonight, even though that was on the uh, on the video. Uh, I do want to say that <clears throat> if you're listening to uh, this on the radio, you're listening to KDRT 95.7 in Davis, California. We are celebrating Make Music Day around the world. And did you know that started 38 years ago in France and about 12 years ago, finally, we got we caught on and uh, it started in New York and has spread since. And I believe today over 1500 uh, cities in the U S alone are participating in this. So, so around the world, we have, we have Rome and Amsterdam and London and Paris and Beijing and Davis. Isn't that wonderful? Natalie Cortez, you're up and center right now. How are you? Doing well. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. I know that there was a little iffiness if you could make it on time or not, but yeah. you did it. So <laughs> this is this is very wonderful. The song you you are going to sing uh, or your group is going to sing is "You Did Well." How did you come to either write that or choose that for this uh, for this show? Well, it was a, it's a new song for us. We only got a chance to, I wrote it in February. Uh, uh -huh. we, we got to play it a couple of times and then COVID. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we kind of had to stop everything. In okay. its track. So that was the reason that we wanted to, to use that song because it was the newest one that I'd written. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's that's kind of sad. That was one of the last songs you ever performed before COVID yeah. hits. So, <laughs> well, anyways, we're glad you're here. We're looking forward to hearing it. Uh, thank you for participating in this. And let's listen to the Natalie Cortez Band singing You Did Well. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>
you know, uh, some bands that I thoroughly enjoy are studio bands, but most of the bands we've had on this show are bands that perform at their best live. And that's true of Boot Juice. Connor Hurt, well, welcome, because you're one band that I thoroughly miss live. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good, Peter. We miss playing to you live. It's been uh, it's been a little while, but we're doing good. I'm here. Good. Uh, I'm trying to play my new guitar here, but I don't know. It's a little weird. It's like the strings are really far away from the fretboard, so I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work very well. Yeah, no. Well, you're on no. your own there, buddy. All right. Keep practicing. <laughs> So uh, you're uh, you're in a group called Boot Juice, and yeah. I must say that the song you selected, Back on the Road, the video to it, is very unique. Who, who came up with this idea? Uh, for Well, the, the video, um, it yeah, it was, a, it was a guy, Bryant Stark. He's a Davis local. He filmed the video. Okay. And uh, yeah, he just, he, he uh, came up with the, you know, just black and white in front of a in front of in front of a black sheet and it's just a you know it's meant to be very, very simple and um kind of in line with the theme of the song it's kind of we're like we play as a big rock band uh, a lot of time you know but this is a stripped down acoustic song so right the video fits that fits that as well and and okay so you're playing guitar and then of course there's evan daly playing guitar who else is in that group yep and then um in this video just jess uh Jessica oh, Stoll, she's Jessica, uh, right. Yeah, and the vocalist. She's, she's singing as well. So we're doing like three part harmonies, and that's it in this video. It's just the three of us, but uh, you know, we play uh, live. We play as a, a five to seven piece. Right, band. right. Yeah. Well, uh, the sad thing about this whole thing is, normally I ask everybody, "Where's your next gig?" I'm not going to do that right now, but I will say. Uh, People that are listening are going to thoroughly enjoy your video back on the road. Thank you, Connor. All right. Thanks, Peter. Bye Good now. Bye. Awesome couple. So cute. How is Juniper and Billy D doing? Oh, Hi, Peter. So well. <laughs> it's good to, uh, good to see you that guys. That was a good food juice video. That was it awesome. It was, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, we're all looking forward to hearing what you guys have to offer here. Uh, you think you're going to top it? 
Uh, it's different. <laughs> I'm putting ours you on the a, spot, aren't ours I? Ours is a live video. That was a, oh, yeah, that a was very whole... beautifully composed video that they yes, had. Yes, our... yes. Well, Absolutely. Okay, so uh, you picked a song called Soul Circus. That, no, uh... that's the... Um, that was the event that it was filmed at. Oh, the night, Soul okay. Circuit. What was our this... video actually has like bits and pieces of four of our songs. Whoa, and it's live. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, you guys are you guys are a couple, right? So you're in. What, what do they call that when you're in quarantine together? There's a word for it. Oh. Quarantine. Quarantine. That's it. <laughs> You're in the quarantine. Uh, does your whole group get together every now and then, or are you just on your own? We have been getting together okay. carefully. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yeah, Keep practicing. Live streams and such. Well, uh, let's listen to the Gold Souls and the name of the song. Well, no, there is no name of the song. Well, it's it's uh, four got songs. It, and then Strongman, and then. Uh, wait, slow down, and then tried to change me. Very if good. If we get through the whole thing. If we get through it all. All righty. Thank you, Juniper and Billy. Good to see you guys. Thank you, Peter. Great to see you. Take you. care. Bye now. Let's Bye. play it. Thank you so much, you guys. We are the Gold Souls, and we are so happy to be here at the Midnight Soul Circus. Said that it could not be done So I raise my praise back to the sun She's growing up, blinding all the same Unmuted days, there's some complaint Can't see her face, ain't that a shame But she still shines even when she's off the stage For the young and old, for the rich and poor They share her glow all across the globe Like a rising tide lifts all ships in the bay for her time to rest on the ocean bed Paint your world in purple, pink, and gold She'll be there for your victories And sing you love-struck symphonies Gather on now Let's get up off the cord Cause I got it In the rain or sun and snow Yeah, I got it Okay, and remember everybody that in uh, several links, go to uh, uh, kdrt.org and find Make Music and you'll get the links to all of these bands. And we sorry, we have to cut some of them short. Next up is the Davis Youth Flute Choir under the direction of uh, Maquette Cooper. Uh, this, this group was supposed to perform and practice during their last year in high school, they obviously couldn't do it. So we're gonna hear a song of theirs called Danny Boy, and I'm sure Davis Media will somehow figure out how to get these guys back in the studio or in the studio to uh, make them shine. So let's play uh, Oh Danny Boy. Oh, 
Davis Youth Flute Choir. Up next is Boca de Rio, and we have with us Kevin. Some Hi, Kevin. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. I didn't realize it. Yeah, you're you. you're uh, you're like you're you're like a ghost there, but that's okay, as long as we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. We didn't. Yeah. That's a in an effect that we didn't mean to have here. Alex is here with me too. Hi, Peter. Okay. Hi, Alex. Hey, what listen, guys. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, so okay, yeah, I, I want to say I want to say this that the last time I heard you, I closed my eyes, and I was sitting like an old man, all by himself. And you came over and you, you I, I think you kind of felt sorry for me. I, I said, no, no, no. I'm pretending I'm in the Amazon somewhere. I'm listening to you in this, this little bar and the women are dancing and the guys are dancing and I'm just thoroughly enjoying it. That's the mood you guys set. And I thoroughly enjoy your band. Right on. Thank you, Peter. That, that okay. is the vibe that we, that is the vibe that we put out and, you know, enjoy the music, the beats, the love, the flow, the organicness of it all. All that. Okay, you are going to go ahead and play Time Alone. We're going to go out with that. And again, everybody, you've been listening to a special broadcast of Make Music Happen. All of the links will be on uh, kdrt.org. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. I'm the villain. I got a court. Buddy dancing. That's what it's all about. What do you got? Eu come 